What's up, MB gang? It's Mamie here, back with another video for you guys. Um, today, I'm going to be creating this sleek, you know, little messy bun. Got the edges on deck. You feel me? I'm looking at the mirror, so yeah. But yeah, this is what we are going to be creating today. Um, basically, it's just going to be a voiceover. Um, I really wanted to hurry up because I got somewhere to be. I'm gonna go have drinks with my friends or whatever. So yeah, so this is what we created today. Please don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can join the gang. I mean, I'm just saying who wouldn't wanna join? We lit over here. So yeah, guys, if you wanna see how I created this look, please continue to watch and I will explain everything in the next clip. Bye, babies. We got this chop for your day, man All this money, I lost my ass, man Yeah, I cut that little hole, I won't do it again I'm it, I'm feeling I'm facing these men What's up, gang? Welcome back once again Um, currently I'm starting off with straightened hair Um, I did go through and straighten it My hair was dirty, so I just wanted to get it that sleek look So, um, right here I'm gonna be looking in the mirror That's why I'm not looking directly at you guys Um, just to let y'all know so I'm just going to comb through my hair, um, combing through there and getting it, getting all those tangles and stuff out. Um, I don't know where I want my part to be, so I'm being real indecisive right now. So yeah, guys, um, I decided I wanted my part going from the right, wait, from the left side, um, of my head going to the right side of my head um i wish i would have made my part deeper but hey whatever we all mess up on the first time that we do something um so yeah i'm just sharing you know my flaws with y'all and i hope you guys appreciate it i mean it turned out pretty well um if you guys continue to watch you'll see exactly how it turned out um i'm about to go ahead and braid my section um uh, my swoop section just to get that out of the way so I don't get any hairs involved. Um, now I'm just going to pin that out the way. And then you guys will see me um, going through and combing out the rest of my hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped ahead. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get my um, edges. I'm going to separate my edges from the rest of my hair. And then now I'm going to comb out the back of my head where my bun will be. So now you just see me smoothing that out, getting all those clumps and such out so it can be smooth like we want it to be because we don't want clumps, of course. Who wants clumps? <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, basically I'm just gonna be talking to y'all and, and you know getting on y'all nerves. Hopefully y'all hopefully y'all enjoy this voiceover. This is the first time that I'm kind of doing a voiceover. Um I tried to do a voiceover previously and it just didn't work out cuz my video ended up deleting. So yeah, that was good. But now I'm just going in with my edge control. Um as you guys see, my hair is uneven because I had a TWA that I let grow out at different times. Um but going in with my edge control at the base of my hair um, and then where my hair ends. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my brush and brush that up. And I am gonna do that around my whole head where you know my hair will be out at, just so I can get that more of a sleek look. I wanted to put it in place before I went in with my freeze spray and blow dried it. Um, that's just a technique that I've seen a few hairstylists do, so I just decided to use that one. All right, guys, so yeah, I'm going in with my brush, like I said, and just brushing all those things out. This is not my um, final ponytail. I'm about to go ahead and take that ponytail out and put a new ponytail in so that, you know, I can get all those clumps that I created slicking that up. Yes, ma'am. So now you see me going in. With my ponytail again, this will be my final ponytail. Um, and then I'm just gonna put that up in a bun to get that out of the way as well. And no, this is not gonna be my final bun. I'm just kind of getting that out of the way. So now I'm just gonna 
twist my edges and just like bobby pin those out of the way so I don't accidentally get that hair involved into what I'm about to do next. Um, so yeah guys, you're gonna see me going in with my got to be free spray and free spraying the back of the back portion of my hair. Um, going in with the free spray and then just blow drying the back portion of my hair so that I can get that sleek look. Again, this is another this is a technique that I've seen a lot of hairstylists doing. So, you know, I was just following their techniques so I can get the best results. Um, I'm not a hairstylist, so <laughs> this is by means not the most perfect bun ever. But if you want to kind of do a quarantine hairstyle DIY, um, this is one of the best techniques to use to just get that sleek look. So yeah, guys, just going in all around the perimeter of my head where um, I want everything to be laid, sleeked, and you know, pretty much free sprayed down. And I'm just free spraying and then blow drying and repeating that a couple of times each. All right, so now I'm on the last portion of my hair. Um, I did go in with my comb just to get some bumps out again. And then again, just repeating that free spray blow dry free spray blow dry that's that's about it guys um simple as ever probably the least products that you will ever use creating a look um so yeah now i'm about to go ahead and take my edges out comb those out and um go ahead and unbraid my swoop um and then you know about to create that so i'm gonna go in with that same edge control that i had by the way guys this edge control is really good my mom ordered it and i've loved using it ever since so i'm gonna have to order me some but going through with that edge control and just smoothing it out piece by piece so that i can have a more laid um swoop so this is only my second time doing a swoop my first time doing a swoop was um on my wig and I liked it, but it wasn't as sleek as I wanted it to be. This one was a little bit more sleek um, just because I learned from some mistakes. Like I said, I just wish that it would have been a little bit deeper. So next time I'm just going to go deeper in with my part. So hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and what I made with in this video. So that you guys can, if you want a deeper part, then make it a little deeper. Um, basically just part some hair, part some more hair out. Um, if you don't, then just do exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm just taking out some little sideburns so it ain't looking, you know, so plain. Um, Bobby pinning my hair up here so I can go through with the free spray and continue to define my swoop as need be and, you know, to my liking. And, you know, this you guys can do the same as well. Yeah, guys, so just going in with my free spray, blow drying it, free spraying it, blow drying it. Um, I really hope you guys can't hear people walking in the background of this voiceover. But if you guys can, then I apologize. But yeah, so pretty much at the nitty gritty of things, um, it kept separating. So that kept getting on my nerves. But I was just like, whatever, I'll fix that in a second because... Typically, I'll go over things and go over things, and then I'll end up messing it up even more. So I was just like, girl, let me stop. So now I'm just like about to mold this so that it kind of goes up into my bun. So that it's like, because like, if you do the swoop, you'll notice like, dang, what am I supposed to do with all this excess hair? So I just kind of used it. I just kind of did it this way and just, I held it, free sprayed it, blow dried it, and um you know, so it was going up into my bun. That's about it. So you guys can do that. Or if you guys have a different technique, go ahead and use that technique. Um, but that's just all I'm doing here. Pretty much my swoop is created. I am going to secure that with a bobby pin just so it can lay down a little bit better. Um, that's about <laughs> that's about it, guys. I mean, it's, it's a really simple look if you um at least know how you know to obtain it a little bit so now i'm just gonna 
put the rest of that excess from my swoop into my bun now. And then I'm just gonna go in and um, free spray the rest of that hair down so it can be sleek or whatever. And I'm finally gonna go in and remove that separation that looks like freaking tacky. So there we go, that looks better. Um, now we're gonna go in and do these edges, baby. As you guys know, <laughs> I'll be struggling with my edges, so they don't be looking the best, but this is just what we working with for now. So as I'm going through my rat tail comb, I'm just like doing a swoop effect, holding it and just swooping it. Um, and then I'm just gonna do that like three times. Going in with that, same edge control. I am gonna go in with free spray just to mold it into place. Um, so yeah, guys, that's all I'm doing here. Basically, I'm just going to let the music play for a second and then I'll come back when I need to explain some more stuff. All right guys, so now you guys are gonna see me going in and braiding my bun um, and I'm just gonna like twirl it up so that it's a little bit smaller. Um, <laughs> I went through and I did it and then I didn't like how I did it. So that's why you see me going in and go ahead and braiding it just cause I felt like that would be better, which it was um, and it, it was easier for me. Um, so now Sorry guys, so after I braid that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my bundle of hair. I didn't use the full bundle just because I just felt like I didn't need all that. Um, but I mean, I guess if you want it fuller, then do a full entire bundle. Um, so I'm just wrapping um, a piece of the hair around my bun and then I'm going in and I'm wrapping the track around my bun as well and then taking the last piece of hair and wrapping that around to finish that off. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my second track. I'm gonna wrap it around and then I'm gonna go in and wrap the bundle around. And then the end of it, I'm just gonna wrap another piece of hair just to secure it in place. Um, to create my bun, so I don't know what I was looking for, but wow. I guess I just tucked the hair under um, so create the bun, I just like pushed all the hair over my bun so my bun wouldn't show, of course, and then I just wrapped it around, creating that messy look. I did not want it to look perfect, so that's why I have it looking all messy. And I'm just going to take a ponytail holder and secure all that hair in place. And yes, y'all, it is secure. So now I'm just going to go in and basically just like stretch it out a bit so it can be a little bit taller so there you go there you have that but you see like it's all messy and cute and that's just kind of how i wanted it to be so i'm just going in and i'm defining my curls a little bit um getting those curls looking nice and i guess you can say moisturized um but yeah guys this is the final look 
Um, I really hope you guys like this video. Um, please don't forget to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. My life on the line, they tell me to slow down. My mama don't like it when she be hearing me rapping like I was a bro. Like child. I was but a, a bro nigga child. can't fake it. Our life, I'ma change it. This life I live dangerous, so heartless and painless. I'm stacking and praying, he risks, I'm taking.